Hey everybody, this is Roy Canning, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Deluxe Upgrade Box for Dune Imperium. I'm going to basically be showing you how the, everything fits into the game, the expansion and the base game fits into the box, even though this is a box that comes with mostly just a bunch of miniatures and inserts for it, but we're going to show you how it is set up in the Dice Tower Library, and that way you can make a decision on if this is something that works for you. So let's take a look at what comes inside. So I'm going to be showing off the box with everything inside of it, um, the base game and the expansion. So this is how we have it here in the Dice Tower Library. So um, the box doesn't come with all of this stuff in it. You just get like the miniatures and things like that. But I do have the rule books and everything put up in here. And then it has a little space here in the top insert for the regular board um, for the base game. And then there's a little slot here where you can put the um, stuff for the expansion. So it has a little bit of room for the expansion stuff in there as well. So if you have the expansion for Dune Imperium, you can fit all of the player boards on the top here, which is awesome. And then let's take a look at some of the main stuff that you get here in the expansion. So um, the really cool stuff that you get is all of these things here for the alliances for the different factions. These don't come painted. These all come gray. And um, during my um, review part, I'll show you kind of what they look like um, not painted, but uh, Wendy Yi, Chris's wife, has um, painted up all of these awesome miniatures. Um, these add a lot of flair to the game as you're like, okay, I got the Spacing Guild Alliance. That's cool because it has a little symbol here that shows, hey, it's worth a point and things like that. And then the Bene Gesserit. And this is one of the things that I think is really cool and helps with the immersion of the game is when you get these alliances, you get these cool gigantic tokens that the other players are going to want to try to steal from you. The Fremen there. And it's just cool. And then here's the um, the Mintat that we have for the game as well. So when you gain the Mintat, you're going to be able to use this. And then for each of the players, these are now going to be your workers for the game. And the game comes with different rings. So say you're the green player. And you can choose which of these kind of uh, characters you're going to want to play with. So um, now you have rings that are going to clip onto these bases. So you could choose what what you kind of like these kind of like represent the different factions that are in dune um so you have like the the fremen or the um the uh the the barony guys or whatever and then you have a bunch of different stuff here that you can kind of like oh these are the spacing guild guys so you can choose kind of what you want the aesthetic of your characters to be but you could still be any player color by putting the rings on the bases there um, also, instead of having cubes for all of your guys that you put in the barracks, you're going to have warriors now that have swords and things like that. So these very much match the uh, player color for the barony. So you probably want to pick, if you're picking green, you'd probably pick them to play as, you know. So your guys kind of match a little bit there. Um, but you have these that you can put into combat, which can make it feel a little bit more thematic. Um, and then we have some upgraded things that we've gotten off of Etsy as well thrown in here. Really cool looking stuff. I think those are from uh, Buy the Same Token or something like that. Um, but we can look at a couple of the other ones here. Um, one thing I do want to note, so here are the ones that look very much like Fremen. Um, the Dreadnoughts that come in the expansion, we still have just the regular Dreadnoughts because that doesn't actually come in the big box. Um, that comes with the expansion, but they don't have any Dreadnoughts that came in this expansion at all. Um, so you're still going to be playing with wooden Dreadnoughts, so maybe we can find some sort of upgrade that we can upgrade that nicely. And the first player token is this gigantic Shy Halud metal coin now, which is going to feel really hefty. It's actually got a lot of weight to it um, that you can pass around for the first player in the game now. So you have all those miniatures for the different factions. This adds a lot of theme and flair to the game um, as you're playing it out. And then, um, let's see here. We have boxes to put all the stuff. I really like that it kind of shows a little bit of like a rackets with a sandworm when they're all there together. So you have spaces for all of your player cards and spaces for a bunch of your different tokens and things like that. It looks like there's plenty of extra space in here as well. And we have a thing here as well that can kind of hold all of the different faction things and this is all of the base game stuff and the expansion stuff so it can all fit in there together we have a bunch of upgraded components that we've put in here as well spaces for your water and spice and uh, money and things like that and then uh solari i think is what the money's called in the game and then a gigantic row here for all of your other cards so um here's space for all the base cards 
and then all of the conflict cards, and then all of our tech cards if you have the expansion as well. And do note that the expansion, I think this big box comes with sleeves. You gotta choose which kind of sleeves, whether you wanted these um, Spice Must Flow sleeves or the sleeves that match the regular back of the cards. Um, I think there's only enough of these. The reason we haven't put these on is because there's only enough of these for like the base game. We have to uh, have extras to be able to fit everything for the expansion as well. Um, so um, there are sleeves there also that you can put on your cards to help protect them um, as you're playing the game. And that's kind of how this stuff looks. Um, I'm going to try to set a little bit of this up so you can kind of get a feel and flavor of what this looks like all set up on the board. So you can see here everything around the board kind of adds that little flair and feel as you have units actually out on the board running around so in your combats and things like that. So you can get a little bit of feel with those alliance tokens. The miniatures kind of let, make the board pop a little bit more. Um, if you're into the feel and aesthetics of the game, the um, upgrade pack with those miniatures, you basically know what you're getting. You're getting a big box to hold everything in together and then also the miniatures to kind of upgrade the aesthetics of the game. So the deluxe upgrade box itself is really just a box with an insert and a bunch of miniatures that comes in there. Um, this is not needed to play the game at all. So if you have the base game or the um, expansion for the game, this itself is not gonna add any new content to the game. It just adds a storage solution for you to play the game. It adds a bunch of miniatures. So instead of having cubes for all of your little warriors and things like that, and then also it has a miniature for the Mintat, it has a miniature for your workers for the game, but then it also has miniatures for those alliance tokens that are really cool sculpts for each of those. They give you a little bit more of that Dune flair and theme as you're playing the game. So if you're a person that's straight up only into the mechanics of the game you don't care about blinging out your games or anything like that i don't know if this is necessarily going to be something you need it's not super cheap to get all of those miniatures in the game but if you're a person that really enjoys aesthetic and being immersed in a game and really wants to have more of that flavor and theme seeing the cool sculpts of the um, miniatures and the alliance tokens and moving an actual miniature around the board instead of a little meeple can add a little bit more of that immersion into the game i'm a huge fan of the dune ip i grew up watching the old dune movies, reading the audiobooks, and uh, reading, my dad was a huge fan of it as well. I played the old dude board game back in the day, and I really enjoyed Dune Imperium. It was my favorite game the year that it came out. Um, so for me, I really love the immersion and theme that this can add into your game, and even though the game doesn't come painted up and everything like that, the copy we have in the Dice Tower Library has been awesomely painted by Wendy, and it just adds even more of that flair and feel to the game as you're playing through, trying to squabble over the spice and trying to win those tracks of alliances and trying to put your people out. Which battles am I going to win? Which battles am I going to kind of pull out? Which battles should I try to get second in? There's all sorts of interesting decisions in Dune Imperium, and this box can add a little bit more of that flair and feel. And the cool thing is it gives you a nice way to store the base game and the expansion together. I do wish that it had miniatures for the Dreadnoughts as well. I know when they announced this, the expansion hadn't even been announced. So I would love for them to have some dreadnoughts to add into the game as well they kind of add that flair because the dreadnoughts are a big part of the expansion um but yeah and then maybe some more of like there's like the pieces that i showed off in here were like upgraded spice pieces you still have like in the normal game you're still going to have all of the wooden bits for all of the normal stuff so they didn't really have upgraded like resources for the game at all so it would be cool if direwolf had their own version of that sort of thing but as it is, the version we have here with the Etsy stuff we've thrown in as well is a really nice thing that we have in the Dice Tower Library that I really enjoy playing. But anyway, that's a look at what comes in the deluxe box for Dune Imperium. Not something that you need necessarily, but if you want that aesthetic upgrade, go ahead and check it out. I'm going to give it a um, seal of approval for me just because I love theme and I love making my game look nicer. Anyway, that is uh, Dune Imperium, and I've been Roy Kennedy. I'll see you on the next one.